Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasamang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, bidangagham! In our last video, we introduced ourselves to the process cell cycle. After cell cycle, a cell can either undergo mitosis or meiosis. In this Shansha Amazing episode, we will be focusing our discussion to mitosis. Merong apat na stages ang mitosis. We have prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. After interphase or the preparatory phase, and just before prophase, your genetic material is actually unpaired, uncoiled, and long, thin structures composed of DNA and proteins. Tinatawag ito na chromatin. But during the first phase of mitosis, this chromatin changes to become a chromosome. How did it change? The uncoiled chromatin folds and condenses into characteristic formations called chromosomes until it becomes visible and it guides us to see the processes during mitosis. In the first phase, prophase, the chromosomes coil up into rod-shaped structures na tinatawag na chromosome. Aside from that, the nucleoli and the nuclear membrane disappear and spindle fibers are formed. After prophase, metaphase happens next. During metaphase, the rod-shaped double-stranded chromosomes arrange themselves and line up in the middle of the equatorial plate, with the kinetochores attaching the chromosomes to the spindle fibers. Ano ba ang kinetochore? To further understand what a kinetochore is, kailangan nating malaman ang mga parts ng isang chromosome. First, sister chromatids. The sister chromatids are identical copies formed by DNA replication. These are the sides of our chromosomes. They are identical since they were replicated during interface. Next, the centromere links a pair of sister chromatids. If ang sister chromatids ang nasa side, ang nasa middle nila ay ang centromere. It attaches them together. We also have the kinetochore, which we were introduced during metaphase. This is the attachment site for spindle fibers. The spindle fibers attach themselves to the kinetochore. This process is very important for the succeeding phases during mitosis. Lastly, ano ba ang spindle fibers? These are the structures which move and segregate the chromosomes during mitosis. Please take note of these structures. We are done with prophase and metaphase. The third phase in mitosis is anaphase. During anaphase, the kinetochores divide. The four double-stranded chromosomes we had in metaphase become eight single-stranded chromosomes. If you can notice here, we now have eight single-stranded chromosomes. This happened because they were pulled apart and they migrated to the opposite poles. Of course, the chromosome number differs depending on the kind of organisms. For instance, we humans, we have 46 chromosomes in each cell. So here we can see the anaphase in action. The first phase in mitosis is telophase. During telophase, the chromosomes uncoil. 
the nucleoli and nuclear membrane reappear, and the spindle fibers disappear. Kaya tinatawag din itong reverse prophase, kasi ang mga nawala sa prophase ay bumabalik during telophase. After telophase, cytokinesis happens next, which divides the cytoplasm of a parental cell into two daughter cells. The daughter cells have the same number of chromosomes. Just an additional information, cytokinesis may or may not occur in all cells. If it occurs, it happens simultaneously with telophase and uninucleate daughter cells are formed. Ang mga halimbawa ng uninucleate cells ay ang epithelial cells ng inner linings of our cheeks and the walls of our digestive organs. If cytokinesis does not occur, cells become multinucleate or contain more than one nucleus, kaya multi. Ang mga halimbawa nito ay ang mga skeletal muscles. Those are the four stages of mitosis. Once again, we have prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. We have mnemonics for this. You can have PMAP or Papa, Mama are together, or you can create your own mnemonics just to remember these stages or phases. Let's have another trivia. Why do some people age faster and have shorter lives? Why do others look so young and live so long? What is the secret of youth and immortality? Scientists think that the secret is believed to be in the part of the chromosome called telomere and in that enzyme known as telomerase. Ano ang telomere? Each chromosome has a special protective cap called a telomere. Dito natin makikita ang mga telomere. With each cell division, the telomere gets shorter and after about 50 divisions, it becomes so short that the cell stops dividing. Ibig sabihin nito, the cell has become old and consequently may malfunction or die altogether. And the telomerase, which acts on the telomere, may be that way. It is an enzyme that elongates the chromosomes. Since aging results from the shortening of telomeres, Telomerase can delay cell aging and death by ensuring that chromosomes do not become critically short. But what if there was a way to keep the telomere from shortening? If our cells could go on dividing forever, our bodies may become theoretically immortal. Ongoing telomerase research could lead to important discoveries toward preserving our youth and extending our lives. Keeping our body cells actively dividing and making them live forever certainly can open exciting possibilities. That certainly sounds very promising. But for now, let's have a quick recap of what we have discussed before we move on to our quiz. In this Shansh Amazing episode, pinag-usapan natin ang tungkol sa mitosis. We talked about the parts of a chromosome, and most certainly the stages of mitosis, which includes prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Aside from that, we also discussed cytokinesis, which is the division of the cytoplasm. Lastly, we were introduced to a very promising enzyme which could help extend our lives, the telomerase. It's good time! Now it's time for a quiz. Let's check your knowledge by answering this short 5-item quiz and let's see if you really learned.
That's the end of your time. Now let's start with number one. In this stage, the nucleoli and nuclear membrane disappear. You need to notice the word disappear. Nawawala. This happens during prophase. Ang reappear naman happens during telophase. Number two, an enzyme that prevents telomere shortening. We just discussed this. This is the telomerase. Number three, process of cytoplasm division o paghihiwalan ng cytoplasm after telophase. This is cytokinesis. Number four, point where spindle fibers attach during metaphase. Sa ating choices, we only have two parts that were discussed earlier, ang kinetochore at sister chromatids. The sister chromatids are the replicated strands of chromosomes which are attached together, kaya nagpo-form ng parang X-like na figure. Habang ang kinetochore is that point where spindle fibers attach so that the sister chromatids will be separated during anaphase. Last item, number five, stage in which DNA replication occurs. If you really listened, wala tayong DNA replication sa prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase because DNA replication occurs before mitosis during interphase. That's the end of our short quiz. Please comment your score in the comment section below so that we can see your scores. That ends our Shansha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!